Hey kids, it's me, your TV pal, Comic Book Man, to remind you that the February Hero of the Month here at Alternate Reality is none other than the Todd McFarland Immortal Creation Spawn! That's right, Spawn. All of our Spawn trade paperbacks at Alternate Reality are 25% off all month long. Now this isn't the junky stuff, this isn't the overstock, this isn't the stuff I can't get rid of. It's every single Spawn trade paperback in the house. We got Spawn, we got Violator, we got Hell Spawn, we got Medieval Spawn, we got Sam and Twitch, everyone from the Spawn universe. And it's all 25% off all month long here at Alternate Reality. Now it's time for Dan, because he has nothing else to do but read comic books all day. We all gotta grow up sometime. Uh, with moping around over some boy you're crushing on is growing up, and pass me my Wonder Woman under ruse. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for Sweet Dan Sweet Sweet Talking, and he's sweet talking comics today, and he's doing two, two for the comic price of books. one. It's a two. It's a theme show. It's the a theme, theme for... and the theme is on. Human targets. Oh, Human it's a targets. sick joke. I don't know who thought that up, but they are twisted. Twisted. Oh. Anyway, uh, it's on Human Targets, and he's doing two books, and the two books are Human Target yeah. and DMZ number 50, the anniversary issue. That's right. Which one do you want to do first? We're going to go with the top one. Okay, Human Target. How is the Human Target? Really cool. Yeah. Because... I don't know a lot about the baggage that comes along with the character. It's not a, an old property by... Oh, it is old. Well, no. Human Target was created by uh, Len Wein yep. and I believe Carmine Infantino or Dick Giordano, one of the two. I'm not quite sure. Very cool. But it was created by them in the mid-70s. It, it was a backup character in uh, Action Comics, I believe, uh, way back then. Actually, not mid-70s, early 70s. 73, 74, I think, somewhere around there. Ten um, years before I was born. But that's how long the character's been around. And he's been bouncing around the DC universe ever since then. Uh, he's been at Vertigo. He's been at Specials at DC. This is a non-Vertigo book. This is a DC Universe book, but it sort of looks like a Vertigo book. I don't know why they didn't make it Vertigo. But uh, the character's been bouncing around for a long time. The mature reader's line. The, you know I mean? the character's been bouncing around for a long time, and it's one of those characters that the folks at DC love, and they keep bringing him back out. Well, it's, 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 it's a viable property. You can transform it into a lot of different stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? If it, Bo told me Rick Springfield played the character once so many years ago, and now there was a br just briefly recently, lived series on yeah, TV and, series. and there's just now a relaunch of, of something based on the idea. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 easy to take a one man versus a bunch of bad guys concept and and turn it. It, it kind of reminded me a lot of Burn Notice, which is, which okay. I'm I'm into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just one guy kind of trying to set things right for people or or protect people by any means necessary. And in this, he's dealing with a mafia boss. Okay. who has seen the light, and he's going to die from cancer, and he wants to repent, so he's going to try to set things right and turn in his whole crime family. Okay. Oh, really? You turn him in. Turn him in. He's got mm -hmm. all this evidence planted in all these different places around the globe, and he has to kind of fly around and, and get him and not get shot to death. Okay. And that's where the human target comes into play, because he's going to protect this guy, and he does a whole lot of killing of some people. The human target does. He tosses guys off of buildings and stuff, and like killed him. Then. Uh, he's there's some killing. There's there's I mean he's there's there was a scene where he says something along the lines of I didn't mean to throw that guy off that building. My bad. Yeah. And then like the next guy goes right off the side of the building. I was like, what the what was uh, the point? Okay. Noblest of intentions, but he still goes and knocks the next dude off. So. Okay. Uh, there was a, a second story in there by a guy named Peter Johnson. Two stories. And uh, illustrated by uh, Chris Sprouse and Carl Story. So okay. those two guys could draw anything and make it look phenomenal. Uh, very cool story about uh, the human target and a, a man free falling. Okay. And having, not a conversation. Literally free falling. Literally, Literally. free falling from a plane. Two yeah. guys, one parachute. And uh, just the complications of two guys, one parachute. I guess that's really all you have to say. Is the Enterprise in orbit getting ready to beam them up? No, no. Oh, okay. Well, like there that. you go. There's, there's no nothing like that. Uh, it, it was really solid. It was really just realistic and, and not too silly. Okay. And it was it was a good book. This is a six issue miniseries from DC. It is being written by Leonard Ween, the creator of the book, and uh, you might want to pick it up. Now the next book up you've got is an anniversary issue, DMZ number fifty. What's up with yeah. that? Yeah. You love DMZ. I've loved DMZ since the moment I laid eyes on it. Mm -hmm. It's a war-torn America after a second civil war. Human targets. <laughs> Full of human <laughs> targets, dude. Yeah. This, is, this is where the sickness comes into play. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, this is more a, a celebration of the DMZ than anything else by okay. creator Brian Wood 
and a se- ten, 10 artists, man, 10 great artists, Lee Bermejo, mm-hmm. uh, Jim Lee, uh, Eduardo Rizzo, okay. uh, Jean-Paul Leon, uh, Ricardo Berchielli, uh, just so many people, dude. The the, the Becky Cloonan who does uh, demo yeah. with with Brian Wood and stuff like that. So it's it's a collection of Maddie Roth, uh, the reporter, embedded yeah. in the DMC since the first issue. Mm-hmm. A collection of his notes okay. on on life and the people that that populate it, and each different segment. It, it's all written by Wood. Each different segment is illustrated by a different. Artist. Okay. There's a Dave Gibbons page too. Dave Gibbons it? gets a page. I mean, e- e- each yeah. one is it's it's. Uh, Jim Lee does a page. Really? Uh, Eduardo Rizzo does a page. Uh, Dave Gibbons does a page. Different guys do different links. Ricardo okay. Berchielli, who is the the normal artist on the title, does an eight page segment. Um, so there's there's a lot of great stuff in there. If you're a fan of the DMZ, is there a central storyline to it, or is, is it just no. snippets? Snippets. It's definitely it definitely moves around, and and I mean it's it's definitely a book you could jump, you could pick up and kind of get a quick background on what the DMZ is all about. I was gonna say it's a good jumping on and point. move on to the next. Yeah, done in one oversized forty pages. Uh, I think it's. Three ninety nine, which yeah, is a buck more than it usually is, but it's a bigger book with a lot yeah. of great, incredible stuff. I mean, I haven't seen Jim Lee illustrate a comic book page in a while. A while, you know what I mean. So just to see that, uh, phenomenal stuff, man. So if you look, if you've been hearing about DMZ for the last couple of years, and you're like, eh, yeah, 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 four years, it's been out, dude. That's such a good book, dude. This is a good jumping on point for it, right here. Oh, grab it. You you learn all about Wilson, the the Don of the China uh, Chinatown gangs. You learn about, uh, oh man, Z and Maddie Roth and Parco Delgado, and I mean the whole thing is just so complex. I, this is what I wish they would turn into a TV series or a movie, not even a movie. You may get oh. your wish because the Vertigo stuff is being fast tracked by DC oh. sometime over the course of the next year. And a year from this now, is heavy. a year from now, we may be talking this is about heavy, a DMC. Series. I mean, this is this is heavy. Warner Brothers touching a, a, a Civil War struck America, where I mean, I don't know, man. It's it's heavy stuff. I love the book because it's so unapologetic. For its its stance on different issues, and 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 I really like it. So, I hope more people get into it. I would love to see it in, in an unadulterated sense, but I don't want to see a watered down ABC. You know. Well. You know. Well, anytime you wind up on television, I you know. get watered down. I know. Well, hey, you, they could end up on FX or or yeah. a, AMC or one of these new places that are trying to legitimize themselves with. With real well, dramatic I I, shows I, I, that have I, balls. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that that's the direction they're probably going to go with it. They're probably going to get on something syndicated and not something that's network. I mean, that's they got they have to with a lot of these properties. They can't. I mean, Fables and Walking Dead and all the stuff that's rumored that yeah. that would be awesome. Uh, you know, you got to do it right if you're, if you're if it's worth doing. Okay, so stop off at the store's website, read his reviews of this book and hundreds and hundreds of others. That's right. And where's the store's website at? Well, Sarah knows where it is because that's where she She's lives. She's always there. She lives at the website. You know, eventually you're going to have to do this yourself. www.myalternatereality.com So, stop off at the website, read all of Dan's reviews, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man. This is Sweet Dan. Saying, Bye! We're done. Good toss. Hey kids, Comic Book Man here to remind you that the Alternate Reality Spotlight Sale begins on February the 15th, and it runs through the 20th. It'll be a whole week of savings here at the store. And what's the spotlight on this month? Women creators, that's right. All of my free paperbacks featuring female creators are going to be buy two, get a third one free. Now, which women creators are we talking about? Find folks like Jill Thompson, Devin Grayson, Gail Simone, Elaine Lee, Catherine Immerman, and many, many others. They'll all be here at the store, and for that whole week, you buy any two, you get a third one free. That's only here at Alternate Reality, so stop on down. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.